Hey everybody, so I have been working on a bubble machine cap for my leaf blower. Let me show you how it works. Okay, so this is my latest version of the bubble cap for my leaf blower. The opening down here is just under four inches inside. That fits down, so my leaf blower comes to right around here. It's pretty close. Others might be bigger, might be, if they're smaller, I don't know. I'll wrap it with some, some tape maybe. But anyway, the opening here is for your soapy water. That's about a half an inch hose. So you'll need a pipe clamp, hose clamp on that. Put that down there. That pumps the soapy water down into this channel. It goes all the way around and then feeds through these holes that'll spray onto your material. I am using this old sheet, this bed sheet. This is a, an earlier version. Works well. I just had some ideas to make it better. Um, and we're gonna try it in a sec. The channel, let's see, this line right here is to where you're gonna put your zip ties or hose clamp or duct tape or whatever you're gonna use to secure that cloth material onto your uh, 3D printed bubble machine, bubble uh, foam cannon. Let's check it out. Okay, step one. Step one right here, I have my leaf blower. This is just a, a cheap one I got online. Uh, bubble cannon goes right on there like that. Like I said, it comes down pretty far. So you might be able to scale this down on your 3D printer just a little bit if yours is still a, a four inch hose clamp. And I don't do anything. I, I put these in here thinking that I would put a hose clamp and, and tie that all down, but I don't. It's not doesn't do anything. I can just hold it in place and it works just fine. So you will need, if you have a corded ho, um, blower like this, you'll need two extension cords or some kind of splitter because you're gonna need to have power for this and then also power for a pump, which I'll show you next. So this is the aquarium pump I'm using. Uh, you could get one just like this. I'll put a link in the description, an affiliate link, or you could get something similar, whatever works. That it, It's really not special. And I actually have it turned up right now all the way. I don't think I need it there. Based on my last experiments, I was dripping a lot of water. So we're going to go about uh, halfway on the flow and see how that goes. For bubble solution, I'm using a mix that I purchased online. I've got a little bit left in this barrel. I, I had this a little more than half full with this solution and it's worked really well. I'll put a link for that in the description as well. Um, I'll show it to you here in a sec. But you can also look up recipes online that just use dish soap and some other binding material. I don't know what they do because I bought this stuff. So this is the bubble mix that I am using. It's a, it's a really fine powder and I made about half of the bag up and I'm just saving this one for the next time while I work through some uh, different iterations. The first version of this we just had a hose going from the blower down into the barrel and it would bubble over and it worked but it was I, I want to be able to uh, move around a little bit easier. For my kids I can't get anybody to come help me with the camera so I'm going to do this all myself. Here we go. First I haven't cut this yet because I'm still in the experimenting stage but I want to show everybody what I'm working on. We got our a little puff here on the, uh, the yellow 3D printed connection. Turn that on. That's going to work really well there. I'm just going to use this bit here as a handle. Turn on my pump. That flow. Okay, so I messed around a little bit. I increased the flow back all the way. Pump's already running. I saw that bubble. Thank you for watching. This is the 3D printed uh, bubble connector, bubble maker connector for a four inch leaf blower. I'll put a link for the STL in the description. 
and you guys can make your own and let me know how it works for you. Thanks for watching.